Jumpy dum jump jump. Just a little cold water therapy from a music lover. Let me guess who strapped on a thumb and turned off the hot water. I'm all over it. <gasps> huh? I'm expecting an important call. <gasps> Trust me, if it's important, it's for me. Isn't anyone gonna get the door? The one bright spot in living with teenage girls, you never once have to answer the phone. Improved long distance service, anyone? Oh, come on, you guys. It's for me. I know it is. <laughs> Doorbell ringing pranksters. Hmm. Hello? I'm me, her, she, Sabrina. Good evening, Miss Spellman. I just need a moment of your time to answer a few simple questions. Chloe, you're busted. What's up? Sheesh, would you get normal caller ID? I was using my official Chloe poll voice. I'm finding out who everybody's going to vote for for class president. Chloe, I've told everybody. I'm just thinking about running. I haven't decided for sure yet. Well, so far, Pi is the only officially declared candidate. He's determined to be the first student member of the International Brotherhood of Birthday Clowns ever to be elected to public office. But guess who is leading in the polls? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm leading in the polls? Are you kidding? Do you think? No way. Way? Major way. Of course, it's no big deal. Chloe, do you think I could really win? Absolutely. And you would make a great class president. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I could even make some changes that would make the school a better place. You know, be a president who really made a difference. Cool. Check it later. Peace out. I'm going to run for class president. Ah, Uncle Quigley, isn't that great news? I can't stand that sound. Huh? <gasps> well... Thanks for not letting my big news interfere with your busy schedule of petty bickering. This is cat abuse, Pavarot. Okay, Uncle Quigley, this is not nice. Neither is turning the hot water off in the middle of a person's shower. Oh, and who put the cat out last night? The cat did not want to go out. The Rottweilers from next door were loose. Oh, I had to sleep in the mailbox. You were put out because you spit a furball into my house slippers. Like you can time a furball. They have minds of their own. Hey, family, breaking news here. I'm going to run for class president, and I'm going to make a difference, and I'm going to... Yeah, that's nice, dear. This isn't over. Sure it is, Quig. I'll be in the netherworld all day tomorrow for my annual fitness test. By the time I get back, your feeble mind will have forgotten all about this. <laughs> What was I thinking? I can't be class president. And why not? I think there's a requirement that you have to be normal. I live in a house where the dishes wash themselves. People use the phone as a tennis ball, and my uncle is having a feud with my cat. Sabrina, everyone has something about them that's odd. The little quirks are what make each of us unique. A little quirk? Aunt Zelda, I'm a witch. And that makes you, like, totally special. In the netherworld, maybe. In junior high, in the real world, it makes me a freak. If people are going to like me enough to vote for me, I have to be a regular person. I just have to. Hey, Harvey, guess what? I'm going to run for class president. I want you to be among the first to know. I think you've been scooped. Huh? Vote for anyone but Spellman? What's up with that? You have to ask? Don't forget to vote for anyone but Spellman. Anyone but Spellman. Hi, Harvey. Spellman. Jem, how can you even be so mean? It's a gift. You're just campaigning against me? You're not even running? 
Well, I would, except I have a teeny little problem with my grade average at the moment, which is preventing me from running. But I bumped into Chloe earlier this morning and got the bad news about you officially being a candidate. If I can't be president, I certainly don't want someone as odd as you are being the leader of my class. Thus, my little public service announcements. Here's a little safety announcement. Back off! What? Mm. Hey! Mm. Oh, there's the bell. Uh, now go to your classes and come out educated. <laughs> Ta-ta, loser! Uh. Hey, Sabrina. I think you're in trouble in the Chloe polls. <gasps> hey, you smell okay. You ought to get the word out. Excuse me? Yeah, Jem started a rumor about you that you were on this all garlic diet and that you really raped. What? Why would she say something like that? Yeah, negative campaigning. Me compadre. It's been a part of the fabric of American politics since Thomas Jefferson ran for office in the late autumn of 1800. The object is to make the person you're campaigning against appear to be something negative. <gasps> make them seem weird or offbeat. Did you hear that? She's out to make me seem weird. Chloe, what am I going to do? I am weird. Let me just say two things. One, you are not weird. You are different. And that's cool. And two, you're going to fight this. But how? Hmm. Well, it wouldn't technically be spreading rumors if I happened to mention something that was actually true. So, did you hear? You're a front runner for president again. Yeah, it's all over school that Jem sleeps in feet pajamas. And now nobody is taking what she has to say seriously anymore. Ick! I must have picked up Zelda's salad by mistake. This has uh, anchovies all over it. Anchovies make me gag. So, what do you think about the Jem in feet pajamas thing? No comment. I'm just a normal, regular kid running for class president. I have no interest in spreading negativity. Stylish. I'm honored to be running against you. Hey, mi amigo. Count on your vote. Later, my worthy opponent. Pie is one of a kind. Man, I hope so. I hope you guys are through eating. <coughs> Spellman House puts S in Strange by Jane Jones? When it was first rumored that Sabrina Spellman might run for class president, this reporter decided to do a little research. Well, let me tell you, the Spellman house really does put the S in strange. Strange wailing noises, cats jumping out of the mailbox, and last night this lather man was sighted there? Could he be from a UFO? Could Sabrina Spellman be an alien? I gotta check how this is playing with the voters. Jane, it was worth every penny I paid you to do all that research on Sabrina. After all, no one wants an oddball for president. Forget it, Jem. Nobody's gonna believe this stupid stuff. The Chloe polls disagree. You're behind people who aren't even running. Jem, this is so not fair. Really? Then go ahead and prove that there's not anything different about you. No problem. Sabrina will just let Jane really get to know her, and then Jane can write another article about how perfectly normal Sabrina is. How's she gonna do that? By following you everywhere for the next 24 hours. What? No, wait. You mean everywhere? Everywhere, even to my house? Yep, and I'm coming with her. I'm joining your campaign, Sabrina. I'm gonna be your spin doctor. What's the matter, Spellman? Got something to hide? <gasps> Huh? Salem, what are you doing? 
doing here? Uh, plumbing problems. The witches' council chamber's flooded. Guess what? The pilgrims were wrong. Witches don't float. How long are you gonna be here? All day. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Let us in. Hey, Sabrina, what's up? You call this normal? <gasps> Come on, Sabrina. Don't waste time cleaning up. Your house doesn't have to be perfect. After all, you're just a normal average kid. Salem, quick! A magical transport zap! Front door to back door, do it, and I'll clean your litter box for a month! What was... Were we at the front then? I feel really confused. I'm dizzy, and everything's sort of out of focus. Oh, let me clean those for you. I'll be back in a sec. Harvey, get yourself and Jane a glass of juice or something. I'll be right back. Forget the juice. Go with the peanut butter sandwiches. That way, it'll be harder to talk about me while I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. ah. oh, 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 oh. Zelda! Uh. She's at the library! What's the 911? Jem's campaigning against me. All kinds of dirty tricks. Says I'm an oddball. Downstairs, right now with Harvey. Reporter from the school paper. Gotta help me! Oh, there's gotta be something in Zelda's spell book. Wait a minute, what exactly is it you're trying to do? The impossible. I just want people to see me as ordinary. I don't want them to see all this stuff that's different. All the stuff Jane's going to see when I go downstairs and give her back her glasses. That's it! A rose-colored glasses spell. I'll zap her glasses and she won't be able to see anything about you that is out of the ordinary. Perfect! Do it! You sure this will work? On the reporter, but not on Harvey. I forgot about Harvey. Salem's fitness test. What am I going to do with Harvey? Easy! You're taking him to the mall for a pizza. You'll pay. I'll drive. <laughs> Great idea, Jane. And let's wait for Sabrina in the living room. And Hilda, help! Huh? huh? <laughs> Here you go. All clean. Great news, we're all going to the Mighty Slap for pizza. My treat. Think you should call a vet or something? Um, uh, just a few fur balls, no big deal. Whoa, look at the time, gotta hurry. We're going to the Mighty Slap. The one at the mall? Who are you talking to? Jim, I'm still on her payroll. She gave me this phone so I could... <gasps> Yes, I'm going to the mall, just like any other average, ordinary, nothing different about them kid. Average and ordinary? Yeah, right. Spellman, I'm gonna prove that there is something different about you if it's the last thing I do. James, mall! Sabrina, you're really acting odd. You kids stop horsing around on the escalator. Don't make me come up there. <gasps> hey, isn't that Michael Jordan? Will you chill? You're really making yourself look like a wacko. Sorry, Jem's little war is getting to me. And it's not just about the class president thing. She's always on my case. Why? Because you're incredible and it bugs her. But Aunt Hilda, all I want to be is ordinary. Oh, look, a picture of Sabrina. Hmm. Do you think it makes me look unusual in any way? No, you look absolutely ordinary. Huh? Trust me, Jane. There's nothing different here. Just another face in the crowd. That's me. Wow, they've got a worn and torn retro store now. Meet me here after you're finished at the Mighty Slab. See, Jane, you've spent practically the whole afternoon with Sabrina. And she's just like any other kid. 
perfectly ordinary. Hey, my fellow students. Uh, hey, Pi, what's up? Just checking out the new nature store. They have a superior collection of beetle carcasses. Did you know that there are more species of beetles on this planet than there are any other type of living creature? Really? It's a fact. I'm crazy about insects. As far as I'm concerned, bugs rule. So, what brings you guys to the mall? Nothing much, just having a pizza and... <coughs> Anchovies! <laughs> oh, I see you got my complimentary pizza. With the extra anchovies. <laughs> anchovies! <laughs> Premium belch. Amazing. Why is everyone laughing? I ordered you a little bubbly, Sabrina. Hope you like super fizzy soda. <laughs> Hope you're gonna like being a toenail fungus. Okay, Jem, it's payback time. So, who's paying? I enjoyed your little spitting and belting act, Spellman. Very presidential. stop and get a little something for Hilda as a thank you for driving us. I think generosity is right up there with being average as an important quality in a president. <laughs> Fusty by Gert Gooch. $5.95 a quart. Have a nice day. <laughs> Whoa, you smell like my grandmother's bridge club. <laughs> Put that in your article. Do we really want a class president who smells like a room full of old ladies? I don't usually smell like this. Usually I smell very ordinary. I don't smell like anything. You would never notice me. Harvey, Sabrina, over here. Hey, is this great or what? I am definitely coming back here for Halloween. Uh, he's a friend of yours, right? Yes, but... Aunt Hilda's gonna be in here somewhere. Catch you in a minute. I want to see if they have any really cool old-time comic books. Oh, they are you. They're called Bubbleheads. Sabrina, what do you think? Huh? Spellman family is bizarre. Certainly not presidential material. Not even vice presidential. It's one thing to be after me, but when you start messing with my family, you've gone too far. Whoa! Ugh. Hey! Whoa! 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 Hey, hi. Free shoplifter. <laughs> Can I take this stupid dress off? No tampering with evidence. You've got to let him go. It was all my fault. Arrest me instead. Sorry, sister. Tell it to the judge. <laughs> Try the food court after the dinner rush. <gasps> hey! Nobody move till I get back. Huh? Hilda, help me! I zapped the mannequin trying to trip Jem, but instead I tripped Harvey. Oh, Jane probably saw the whole thing. Yeah, but she saw it through rose-colored glasses. She sees everything you do as absolutely ordinary. Throw off your shackles, my brother. I bring proof of your innocence. I have just finished recreating the incident and drawing the results of that recreation here. My but Harvey tripped over the leg of a mannequin. Poor placement on that leg, by the way. Fell into the dress display and tumbled out the door. No crime here, just a badly designed mannequin. You are weird, kid, but you're smart. Your pal is free to go. Yes! 
Flim by Gianni Bronchitis. And this one is... Oh. <laughs> oh, enough! Stop! No more! Oh. Honey, you spent a lot of money in the mall today. You have this coming to you. <laughs> Changed my earlier opinion that Sabrina Spellman is odd. After spending an entire afternoon with her, I discovered that she is so normal that she is totally boring? There is absolutely nothing interesting about her at all. Whoa, no wonder I didn't win the election. Ugh. Aunt Zelda was right. There's nothing wrong with being different. That's what makes you special. Sabrina's friend Pi, however, is a truly fascinating person. Talk about Corky, he's the definition of it. And wow, is he great? My parents took away my phone for making too many calls. Who won? My classmates, it is I, your president. Will the owner of the Funkhouse Ferret's backpack please move it out of the cafeteria? Your lunch is over. It's expiration date, mi amigo. The fumes are grossing out the hairnet ladies. Chia. Who won? Someone who's never afraid to be himself. Pi is truly a constant. <laughs> Freaks. Savage, we love you.